Now we're going to add some personal flair and we're going to create a character and import into the game to replace Ethan. So if you don't want the default character, we're going to have your own character working in game. So you need to be using one of the laptops in class because again it has better graphics card and better processor that can actually use this program. So Mixamo Fuse is the program we want. Find that on the desktop. Double click it. Take a moment to boot up. If it gives you a welcome screen, just X that out. I like to click Macify so I'm using the entire screen window. I can see all my options here. So what you're going to do is create a character by selecting pieces of it and putting it together and then you can customize all the options at the end. Now one disclaimer I want to put in here is that as a game designer or as a graphic artist eventually you're going to have to work with the human body or parts of humanoid bodies I should say. So it's always good to be professional and and use your maturity as you work through these and get used to it. It might be a shock at first but um, working with parts of the body and nude parts of the body can be different at times. So you just got to be professional about it. So I'm going to create a Mayo character. So I'm going to create a head and go through, and this is kind of self-explanatory, so I'll, I'll fast forward through the process, but you guys can get the idea as you go through. Once you're done editing your character, make sure you save it before we lose any changes. So save as. I'm just going to use my initials and save it on the desktop. After that, we actually need to get the correct file for creating the model in Unity. So we need to go up into Animate. If you haven't created an account yet, click on Register. It will bring you to a new page that will allow you to sign up. You just go through that and click Sign Up. As soon as you click sign up, you're done. You can exit that web page. You'll come back into here and log in using that information. As soon as you click upload, it'll go ahead and start to export your model. Again, I'll fast forward through this process. It takes a little bit. A web page should pop up with your model in it when it's done. So here's what my character looks like in Mixamo. And just click finish at the bottom. So if you want to look through different animations, you can click animate or you can click on view in my assets if you want to go straight to exporting it. I'll just show you what the animation component looks like real quick. So if you click animate, you have your character and then you can actually preview what some of these animations look like. So if I want to make my character do a YMCA, pretty awesome. There you go, looks like he's working out. If you are choose a run animation or a movement animation like this and you want him to stay in place and see what it looks like when it's uh, and you want to see what it looks like, just click in place. There you go. So, and you can play around with that. There's 52 pages, a lot of animations you can go through. So let's go to exporting it and using it in Unity. So click on My Assets, or if you clicked on View in My Assets, it'll go right to your character. Click on your character here, 
Okay, I have all these different characters that I've created before, and then this one was another student's. But anyways, here is the character. We want Q download, and then we need to change it to FBX for Unity, so it's the correct format and model uh, rigging for Unity. So Q download, bring you a new page where you can actually download FBX for Unity. Download, and then it starts. Okay, as soon as this finishes, if you are on the same computer as your project, you're good to go. However, if you are on a different computer, you need to put it in your drive and then export it to the computer you're on. All right, so log into Google Drive, and once your download is done, you can just click and drag into My Drive. As soon as you do that, you'll get a little message saying that it's uploading. When that's done, it's in Google Drive, and you can use it or grab it for any computer. Now this was using Google Chrome. If you're using Internet Explorer, you'll have to save it to the computer first and then navigate to where the file is. So you'd open up a new folder similar to something like this and then you can grab the character and drag it in. All right, so unfortunately Internet Explorer doesn't have that feature. All right, uploads completed, we're good to go. So now all you have to do is log in to Google Drive on the computer you're on. So let's say I was I just logged on to a different computer and you can search for your file by just clicking FBX at the top. Click search. Now I'm going to see a bunch of different ones because I have a bunch of Unity projects in my Google Drive but you should only see yours. So I had you name it your initials so it's right at the top. So to download this all you have to do is right click, download, and it will download it to your computer in your downloads file. So right now it's going through and downloading that. If I were to go to my downloads, here's my downloads folder. It is right at the top, right here. I actually have two of them. Okay. In the next video, I'll show you how to import and replace Ethan with that character.